Hi guys! So, you saw our new troopy and how we designed the interior of the troopy. We also started picking up materials for the makeover. Then, we decided to get rid of the bed that was inside and look at the parts, which ones to use and which ones to throw out. On Monday, we headed to Makerspace. They were really helpful and looked at our designs and made some great suggestions on where to improve. So first, we started building things based on what we saw on paper, and this went well. However, after a few days, we realized that we have to make some adjustments. For example, we used thicker materials for the bed than I designed originally. While building the furniture for the bag, we had to make some adjustments to their shape because the back of the car wasn't straight as we expected. Sandra wanted a nicer flooring, so we bought this uh, wooden feel uh, laminate flooring that I had to cut out uh, to the shape of the original uh, floor. It took a while, but then it fitted perfectly. We quickly realized that the parts we bought weren't really strong enough to hold us, so we started using the old uh, furniture's materials. When we tried in the new flooring, we realized that we will need something to fill up the gaps in the back of the troopy to make the surface even. We used insulation for that. Sandra was really excited to try out the new varnish she bought, so she painted a, a little piece which I had to cut out later, so that wasn't really useful because then we had to paint it again. Then I spent three days sewing curtains, fashion covers, and mattress covers. Of course, they weren't perfect, but it was my first time using a sewing machine. And thanks Annalisa again for teaching me how to use it. So this is our last day of assembling the troopy and getting it ready for our trip. We are going to put in the furniture and the fridge and also put up the curtains and other uh, cushions and things like that. Awesome! Hi guys, so we thought we will show you the inside of the troopy, our living space. So this is our kitchen, 
We store the kitchen utilities here. For example, we have some kitchenware in this part. We have this really cool pop-out kitchenware. Basically, you can pop the bottom and then this is big enough for cooking pasta for two people. And pop back, pops back in. We also have a saucepan that has a detachable handle. So you can put this back in. How cool is that? And we have our spices inside and salt and pepper, that kind of stuff. Also, what else? We also have more storage here. So you see a little coffee maker and we have a little cute cup like this and oil, sugar, all the other stuff comes here and some Nutella and Nutella of course We also have an ARB fridge. This is a 47 liter fridge. And the really cool thing about it is if you open up the lid, instead of doing this, you can just take off the top like this. Which is really handy because when we need to pack in everything, it's a lot easier to do it this way. So we store here like milk, and yogurt, sandwich cream, every food basically, even things like uh, muesli, which doesn't need cooling, but we have so much storage that we just use it when we work, so it's really cool. So the next space uh, in the troopy under me is a storage space, uh, which we call the bathroom, because we store, store all our bath utilities here. So, towels and um, shower gels and soaps and things like that. So, if I move everything here. As you saw in the previous episode, this can be lifted up. And this is our sunscreen and towels and uh, clothes. And the next area is where um, we store our sleeping stuff. Big clothes and sleeping bags. Like this one. We also have um, special foils for the windows, which we put on uh, before we go to sleep. And those keep um, the inside of the troopy warm during the night. I'll show you how they look like. So, this part goes outside um, and it basically it's pretty thick and it just keeps the troopy warm, which is great. Hopefully it will keep it cool as well when we go north. And the last part is under the bed. This is our biggest storage. I'll show you how it works. Um, 
just have to move everything on this side. So, we want to lift this up. This is it. On this part we have mostly clothes that we use daily and our air compressor for off-roading. And this is the not as used uh, clothes area. The great thing is that this is uh, partly reachable from this side. I will show you that in a, in a second. And yeah, it's pretty neat and it's pretty cool to have uh, clothes in these uh, paper bags which are um, auto-resistant paper bags. They're awesome. Cool! So, as I said, this section can be opened and the clothes can be pulled out. I'll show you how it works. I just need to lift this. So this is our troopy and we like it a lot and even though we haven't found the place for everything just yet we are getting there slowly day by day and um, we are hoping to make it our uh, really cozy home one day. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel.